I got a nice little method that I've been doing lately. I'm gonna put y'all on real quick. It's very simple. To make like a cool like 25 plus K. So what you wanna do is you wanna check Gridiron Guardians. Now there's multiple Gridiron Guardians you can make. Me, I've been making Isaiah Simmons. He sells the fastest, but you could also do the same thing with any of these players. So for example, let's say you was gonna make Quentin Nelson. He's selling at 500K. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your taxes out. Taxes on 500K will be 50K because it's 10% of the value that you sell. So that's gonna give you 450K after you sell the car. So you're gonna get back 450, right? You wanna take 450 and you wanna divide that by five because you need five 86s or 87s to build this set. You get 90,000. Now you're like, okay, the most I can spend on an 86 is 90,000 if I wanna break even. Whatever I buy the car for that's below 90,000 is basically how much profit I'm gonna make, right? So since I gotta buy five cars, if I buy a car at 85K, boom, that's 5K profit. And then if I bought all five of them at 85K, boom, that's 25K profit. You know, and you could just do it that way. What I like to do is I like to put a price point on it and say, okay, the maximum spend on these 86s is 84K. So then I know every single time I'm going to make at least 30K profit every time I sell this car for 500K. You gotta make sure that you check the prices on what the cars are selling for, and you gotta make sure they're actually selling. So like you can see this detackle just sold at 494. So you know for a fact, good price. I was selling Isaiah Simmons at 495, and the prices is gonna change, they are gonna go up and down, but you wanna get something that's gonna sell pretty quickly. And if you don't have the coins, man, you could go ahead and go to easymutt.com. Use code DOG to get 10% off. And you can see right now, look at Walter Payton sold for 75K. So if you bought five Walter Payton at 75k that's going to be some decent profit right there oh this every 128 i'm buying this that's dumb cheap but i should still be able to do the set but this is dumb cheap 128 bro post this man at 160 i get back 142 14k profit we'll cop this 85 854 we'll take that 84 600 that 85 flat one more E3, okay. Highest I spent on one of these cards was somewhere around like 86, 850 or something like that. The cheapest Isaiah Simmons is 500 basically, so 450. And what I'm gonna do is, since I don't know everything, I'm gonna just take the 86, K and multiply it by five. That's how much we spent on it, 430K. We're gonna redeem Isaiah Simmons, make sure it's only 86 is. It's literally that simple. Like you just put this man on a block. I might throw him up for 520. I don't want the market to crash out on me. We'll go 510. That'd be 30K after Isaiah Simmons sell in less than 20 minutes. So if you multiply that by three, you feel me in an hour, you could probably bang out close to 100K, bro. So this is literally 100K an hour. The next thing I've been doing is I've been opening up this gold plus player. Now, this is very interesting. Uh, did they change the coins? They had to change the coins. Now, I don't remember the coins looking like this, bro. Like the UT, I don't remember that's looking like that, but it is what it is, whatever, we'll let it rip. I've been opening up this, see? This is why I've been opening up this pack, man. You start off with an 83 overall DK Metcalf. And this pack is absolutely a banger because if you're patient enough, you could use these cards for sets later on down the line. Now I've been dabbling between 75, 100K, 150, and you get so many bangers with this, man. Just as far as upgrading the cards to playbooks and then what I've been doing is AKA elites. I'm eventually gonna be able to build a Gronkowski for less than probably 100K, which is crazy. And you could build any AKA player you want. It doesn't matter. If as long as it's an AKA player, you can go through this, use this pack and build them over and over again and your pools don't have to be great like for me i've been getting some pretty decent pools where i've gotten 85s and it's definitely helped because those 85s sell for like 50 60k if you're only spending 80k on something and you get an 85 and then you get a one elite because for the most part it's been about every 80 to 100k been about two elites but it's been about an 85 and then probably like an 83 and if I don't get those pools, it'll be more towards like a 80 through 82. And I'll get those probably like three, maybe four times. I've gotten a couple coin quick sales, gold quick sales, uh, elite coin quick sales. So I really haven't lost any coins on this. And then when you double back and you start upgrading them into playbooks, depending on which playbooks you get, I like to use the alternate offense and alternate defense one. So you do get 500 coins after you put in whatever you want to put in. I put in everything 70 to about 73. And then a 74, sometimes I'll upgrade it. It just depends on what I need for certain sets. So I just go from 70 to 73 all in playbooks. And majority of the time you're going to get 
garbage playbooks 500 coins back it is what it is but sometimes you do get those bangers where you get one of the good playbooks and they sell for like 10 11k you know those start to add up over time because like i said you're getting those elites as well so as long as you could bag at least 40k with the elites by opening you know this right here the rest of your gold cards are going to cover as far as playbooks or you know having the elites because i have a ton of aka elites in my binder that's all going to be used for rob gronkowski i didn't get any crazy bangers we got one dk we can go ahead and put them on a block so i didn't get many 78 through 79s i don't think so but with this aka set what i've been doing is i just been putting everything in this 81 and it's all 79 so i think this is 78s huh yeah i could put these in 78s and then potentially build a Deion sanders what i do with my other cards is i'll go to course set and then i'll use this alternate playbook and use all of my 70s and i'll use them up until it says like i'm using like 74 to 75s then i stop making play i really don't care what i get out of this to be honest i just do this just to do it like you're making a little bit of coins 500 coins if you get a trash playbook i don't put anything that's less than like ten thousand on an auction block i think this one is only like a thousand or something yeah like i'm not putting this on an auction block you could i just take the 500 quick fast in a hurry and that's essentially what i do is once i'm going once i went through all my 70s and 71s now you can see it says 71s and it's just going to keep going upwards and then once i get to like 74 75s i'll stop and then i'll go and upgrade everything into an elite whatever i could and then I kind of like rinse and repeat. Like I don't even look at how much I'm losing or how much I'm gaining just because I still have so many elite cards in my binder, right? So you get this alternate base four, six. This is a decent one, I think. So yeah, this one sells for 20,000, right? So look at that, that's 20,000. It's 18K back on gold cards. You know what I'm saying? Like I spent 86K, DK Metcalf is was 22K back. So that already put me at 40K. So that's half of my coins back. I'm still got more gold cards to exchange. So that's really what I've been doing to make my coins and kind of been like enjoying like opening packs because you like i said you do get some good pool back to back 18k we'll take that but what that put me at like 58k now this is a crazy sequence so i quick sold a card that i had bought for super cheap i think i bought like a james winston for like 100k dumb cheap card bro and i was like playing around with these packs i didn't know what pack to do you know what i'm saying i didn't know if i wanted to do the mystery pack i didn't know if i wanted to do a gridiron guardian pack so then i said all right let me just go ahead and hop into the mystery pack and see what I get. Maybe I get a banker, maybe I don't. You know how the mystery pack be doing. It be doing whatever it wanna do. So then we get the legend pack. I'm like, okay, this could be trash. But we start off with Elite, 82 overall, and we get the big legend animation with an 87 Richard Sherman, followed up with an 83 Troy Palomalu, and then we finish off with a 79 Demarcus Ware. This is by far the best legend pack I've had this year. Outside of pulling Chad Johnson. I, I, I gotta say that. I don't like this one. This one is kind of lame. This feels like we playing like a freaking cartoon game, bro. I don't like this one, EA. You should have kept it the other way. I feel like the other way was a little bit more cleaner with the coins. Now it looks like we kind of playing like a kid game. You know what I'm saying? Like it don't really, it, it's, it's rubbing me the wrong way a little bit. Just a tad. We get the defense multiple. I think this one's like 10K, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So bro, just like this, this puts us at a total of I think 68K and we spent 86K. So we're down 20K we still have a ton of gold cards left like i said and that's how i'm making coins right now man if y'all y'all want to utilize this method the same way i'm utilizing it you can bro um if you need coins holla at the sponsor